It's a week and a half till Christmas. I'm a typical bloke. I've left my shop until the last minute. So I'm off to Chelmsford Town, but I'm a full-time reseller and there's charity shops in town. So I can't do one without the other. Got a GoPro, I'm mic'd up. So we're gonna go through each charity shop in Chelmsford, show some prices, see how we're doing on the pricing. There are some shops that are notorious for, is that the right word? I think so. <laughs> notorious, we'll try again for pricing high. And then some are cheaper, some in the middle. But like any town centre, I think they are priced higher than normal. But there's always stuff to find. You just gotta find it. <laughs> I'm on my own now, I've just dropped off the boy. He's at his nans, Amy's at work, girls at school, by myself. Let's sit in them charity shops. Today's video sponsor is Raid Shadow Legends. With Christmas coming up, we need to step away from the reselling. We need to chill out play a game or two. What perfect way to do that than play Raid Shadow Legends that has over 80 million downloads already, completely free to play. You can take it easy and play casually or compete to be the best. Here are my top three reasons why you should be playing it. First one, the amazing graphics, console PC quality graphics on mobile. Second reason, over 650 completely unique champions to collect from different factions with billions of ways to customize and build your champions. And the third reason, endless content, new champions and new updates every single month. Get ready to celebrate the 12 days of raid. Go to 12 days of raid.polarium.com. Enter your player ID and then set out a fun festive adventure that lasts 12 days, running from the 19th of December to the 10th of January. Each day, experience a new chapter of this wintry story and play a new mini game for a chance to win some amazing in game and real life prizes, including holiday themed raid champions and even Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. Raid's got something extra special happening right now. They've released a legendary champion based off the MMA and pro wrestling legend, Ronda Rousey. You can get Ronda for free right now whether you're a new or long time player. All you've got to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and February the 20th and Ronda's yours. Also use the special promo code Raid Ronda to get a bunch of helpful stuff like three day 100% XP boost, 500k silver and five full energy refills. If you haven't started playing Raid yet, links will be down in the description or scam a QR codes right here. We'll get unique bonuses worth up to $30, which includes a free epic champion, Rector Draft, 200k silver, one energy refill and one XP boost and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. Perfect for leveling your Ronda up. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Merry Christmas. Finally parked, you can tell it's a week till Christmas. Everyone that doesn't normally come to town has come to town. But we're in Molsham Street in Chelmsford. First shop up is RSPCA. Can be hit and miss with their pricing, but it's the first shop to go. Let's see what we can get. Just checking the window. Is this, oh, bags for life. We resale value in them. Clarks, MS, Puma, nothing special really. Size 10, five pound. Yeah, Puma, not the heaviest of his, so we'll leave them. Christmas lights, modern ones, so not worth much. Yeah, modern Christmas lights, they're the vintage. They'd be picking them up, but they're not. Even when it's not Christmas, Christmas lights sell. Whoa, what a three pound for the whole friend set. I'd be picking it up a few years ago, but I think everywhere has this that you can stream for free or part of a subscription. Uh, oh, hello. Is it broken? So the whole friend set, three pounds, which seems really good. But like I said, it's on like streaming services now. Uh, 10 pounds with postage, so I'm accepting an offer, so less than 10, 6, 69, 10.99. So sadly, would have been worth it a few years ago, but not worth much. But I will be picking this up. Cat mate, one pound, half price, what's two pound? Strong seller, it's like an automatic cat feeder. For a pound, should get 15 to 18. Not too big and bulky. So yeah, we'll get that one. Just found this as well. Nice sort of vintage Ralph Lauren Sport rugby shirt. Like a nice pink and navy stripe. Why hello Jill! Size medium, six pound. No, it's a rugby shirt when there's like rubber, rubberized buttons. So, you know, not get teeth out basically. Six pound, should be getting 25, 28, maybe up to 30 pound if I'm lucky. Nintendo Wii, 50 quid. Not even any games of it. 
Hi. Hi. Hi, thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. First shop. Just spent seven pound. Two items. Should be returning. Forty quid. Seven to forty. Not bad. That's just the first shop. Next up, we've got three shops that are close by, like in a little triangle. Age UK, Farley Hospice and Cash Converters. I'll leave the Cash Converters till last. First up, Fairly Hospice. They specialise in cameras, which is good. Thank you, cheers. Full of barber polo shirts, six pound. Might be worth some money, but not enough meat on the bone. Just plain polo tops, short sleeve, six pound, and I've got loads and loads of clothing. So could get 15 to 18. So not enough profit for me at the moment with the amount of stock I've got. What's this here? New York Empire State. Is that a cycling top? Three pounds. Oh, I might have to bring that home with me. Cycling shirts can be worth quite a bit of money. Also, just found this nice Hugo Boss 100% linen shirt. Half price again, only four pounds. Should be getting 20, 22 pounds. Good big size, good name. Four pounds into 20 ish, and three pounds into again, every 20, both 20, 25. Nice. No cameras today though. Right, lovely. Thank you. Okay. Yes, please. Bit of a theme today. Second shop, spent seven, turning it into 40. As long as that carries on, that'll be a successful day. Got Age UK now. Tend to find some bits in here. Look at them things. Doesn't look like they've got a name or anything. They just look horrendous. I'll leave them. Oof, 70 quid. Android Home. home. Mason, ninety pound. Look, they're asking eighty pounds. They are new, but no, 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 far too much. Most motorcycle jacket, spider, not leather though. It's textile, which tends to bring in less money. Should get around 35, 40 maybe, but they are asking 24.99. So not enough meat on the bone, so put them back. Oh, just dropped these. We've got Jones Footmaker, 9.99. Another pair of Lokes, 29.99. Used, crumpled, leave them. Okay, 9.99. Nice pair of brogues. Nice big size. What size we got? Like a 12. Yeah, that could be worth a look up. I'll just double check pricing. But from £10, that might be a pick up there. A bit keen today. 50 quid. Jesus. Six nine nine. look at them. Vintage Ralphie swimming shorts. I think swimming shorts. They're cool. Vintage shrimp shorts. Could be getting 2025 again. These were 6.99. Nice and small. Or was it not in the right season? Oh yeah, some got 39.99. 60. Even though they look quite cool. 20, 23, 25. So pick these up. 6.99 to 25. Then we'll pick up the shoes. 10 into 35 to 40. Two more pickups. Oh yeah. Can I see the sunglasses? Just there, please. Oh yeah, please. Okay. Yeah, I'll just get them two, please. That's so busy in that shop. Got another two pickups from another charity shop. I did get these in the end, 9.99. They are size 12, and they should be returning 35 to 40 quid. Never come to Cash Converters, a shop I always go in. It's basically a reselling shop, so it's all secondhand stuff, but they don't always price stuff correctly. Or well, they have clearances, they just want to remove bigger stuff like speakers and that. It's always worth a little look. Tahiro 5 kit, 
20 quid. Anyone know anything about violins? 60 pounds. Microphone, DJ kit, some bowls for 40 quid. Dyson for 90. Longboard, 40. Fishing stuff, no idea on fishing stuff. Or well, I could force myself to learn about fishing stuff. Yep, no idea now. <laughs> Maybe another day. We got amps and speaker equipment. What's this one here? 25 for a Denon uh, for a stereo receiver. 25. Moran's 60. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here today. Yeah, you won't find anything. You won't find something every time, but it's always worth a look. You just never know what they got. Then on receiver, they're asking 25. People are asking online 45, but that's with two units. So I was asking 45 on its own. It's a big, hefty unit. I once sold 14 pounds, and that was it. So yeah, not worth it. Thought it might have been the only thing you could have picked up. But 25 to 40, and even then they haven't sold well. Yeah, not worth it. Nothing there today, but last time I went in, picked up two cameras for a, one for 10, one for 15. Then they both sold for like 40 and 50. So I was worth popping into this next cherry shop, Cancer Research in the Pine Street. It's not even worth going in, to be honest. It's the most expensive. Never hardly find anything in there. And if I do, it's way priced up. But again, you never know. I have picked stuff up in the past. But it is the worst shop in Chelmsford <laughs> for reason. Should get an idea on pricing. Burghouse. 40 grid. New look. 25 grid for new look. That's nice. Nice O'Neill coat. Skiing coat. But in here they want 45.95. Move stove. 59 pound. Even better. All chained up. <laughs> Right. Heli Hansen hoodie, eight ninety-five. Not sure if a hoodie would go for too much. Nothing on the back. Could look that up. Bit of embroidery there. But nine pound just for a grey hoodie. I'm not too sure. Bit of all this fishing brand long sleeve hood t-shirt. Five forty-five. I think I caught them slipping a little bit. It's all this trout bum. It's like a long sleeve t-shirt but hoodie. Uh, should be getting 22 dollars 24 dollars 5 dollars So nice and light in that. So not too bad. Have a think about it because there is money to be made. All this is quite nice actually. Big size, size large. Yeah, I'll get that. Why not? I'm at that shop now. I actually came out empty handed. Did see a small hole on the armpit. So even though it's only small and hidden, five pound into 20-ish, not really worth it, especially if there's a small hole and I've got so much stuff. So yeah, left that. So first shop I'm actually empty handed in. Next up we've got British Heart Foundation. It's a furniture shop, but they do electricals, which isn't the main thing. So no shoes or clothing, but I'm looking purely for electricals. I've had some cracking stuff out of this one. Projectors, DVD to VHS players, speakers, amps all sorts and they tend to like a clearance as well so it, it tends to go quite cheap nice amplifier worth two three hundred quid would be nice oh it's open just skim past all the three piece suites got some speakers can't see anything that stands out small phillips jpw there's sony speakers here but again nothing special and another pair of sony speakers no, not anything special. And a bread maker for £17. Oh, here we go. I missed this. Oh, £80. Just a CD player, 80 quid. Technics cassette deck, 80 quid. Technics amp, 80 quid. Before I came in, I said they were quite cheap, but apparently not today. <laughs> and a hi fi cabinet, 50. Oof. Oh, there was a trouser press for 15 Is that a Colby? Corby trouser press, could make money on that, only asking 15. I sold them in the past for quite good money, 50 pound upwards, but one of the most pain in the bum things to list, big bulky. Can take a while to sell, so I could make money. Not today, I'm not dragging around a trouser press. <laughs> Back in the car. 
Hopefully we haven't got a parking ticket. Good stuff. Right. Town done, Christmas shopping done. Let's deliver the wife her lunch. She's in the office today, so treat her to a bit of wrap of the day from Mackie D's. Delivery. Bye. Look. Boom, there we go. In town for like an hour, hour and a half. Picked up six items, spent £30.98 with a listing potential of around £135. And that's been reserved as well, so probably a bit more than that. Once it all sells, it should be over £100 profit whilst Christmas shopping. What other job can you get paid or make money from, from doing other family type tasks? Reselling is just crazy. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see how champs has gotten in my previous charity shop championship, watch this video here. I think it done all right, but you tell me.